I cannot remember the last time I was this excited to film a video. I'm finally filming with my actual filming camera. Unfortunately, my ring light did decide to go out. I think it got damaged during like while it was in storage or during the move or something. So I'm using a temporary one, but we are getting closer and closer to being just like fully done here. Like it's been what, seven months at this point, this entire process, but I see the light at the end of the tunnel finally. And today I'm just really excited to be filming and also happens to be one of my favorite topics. Today we're gonna focus on closet essentials, closet basics. You guys know if you're new to my channel, this is kind of my bread and butter. I love, I love talking about building a wardrobe, especially when you want to focus on closet essentials, closet basics. Yes, we're gonna focus a little bit on spring and summer are mainly on spring and summer, but keep in mind a lot of the pieces that I'm gonna share with you today are perfect for year round. I really believe it is so important to build a base capsule, like wardrobe, essential wardrobe that is gonna get you through most occasions, most situations, like everyday life, right? But I also think it's important to add seasonal pieces, things that are specific for the season, certain textures, anything that's on trend. Today, we're gonna to talk about a little bit of both. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, we're gonna go ahead and dive into some shoes. And as you can see by the wall behind me, I am no stranger when it comes to adding shoes to your wardrobe. They are just as important as the clothing themselves. I truly believe that having a mix of high and low is really, really important in your wardrobe. But I do also feel like there is this perfect sweet spot right in the middle where you can get the quality of a luxury shoe at a fraction of the price. Today we're gonna to focus on M. Jemmy. This is not a new brand for me. I have shared their shoes over the years. They're one of my favorite brands when it comes to getting that perfect sweet spot. You're gonna get a luxury shoe, Italian made, like beautiful quality shoe at a fraction of the price of the luxury shoes, but they're also gonna be pieces that are gonna be perfect for year round. They do have some seasonal pieces. There are some seasonal pieces in here that I wanna share. I did get a variety because I wanted to show about the brand, the fact that they are very diverse in their collections, but also the quality of their pieces. If you have ever made a luxury purchase, you know that the entire experience of that purchase just feels like a full experience from the packaging to what it comes with to the details to even the smells and I feel like M. Jemmy really really gives that luxury experience as well. These are the Lorenza sandal and I feel like they scream what's that new phrase right now quiet luxury. They are such a beautiful classic shoe. The smell is amazing. I wish you could just smell that but I just also want to point out every single pair of shoes also comes with a shoe bag. I like keeping these for travel. You don't even just have to use them for your shoes. You can use them for travel in general, but these are the Lorenzo shoe. I think they are so beautiful, very classic, perfect for your spring and summer wardrobe. Remember when I said that a few of the pieces that I'm gonna share with you today are gonna to be perfect for your year round? This is the Gia. This is not my first pair of Gia's. I love these. These are probably my all-time favorite pointed toe flat, extremely comfortable, come in a ton of different leathers and textured materials and they change it up. This is a classic, classic shoe from M. Jemmy. I just highly recommend these. I love these so, so much. I think they're super beautiful. I did end up going with the suede and even though I prefer suede in the fall and winter, when it comes to handbags and stuff, I do think you could do a suede shoe year round. If you are trying to go for that old money look, that super uber classic. There is nothing more classic than a penny driver. I was super excited to get these. I feel like they scream old money. They are so classic, so beautiful, so timeless, and the quality is just amazing. You would look at this shoe and think that it was a thousand dollar shoe with the quality of it. Look at the detail of it. This is a classic driver. If you're not familiar, trust me, you cannot go wrong with these. I think they're so beautiful. Very quiet, very simple but very, very elegant. 
Another wardrobe essential is going to be a classic pump. I personally prefer a classic nude pump. This is the Lustro. It comes in four different color options, like fabric options. It's going to be a wearable heel, something that you can wear all day to the office. You're not sacrificing comfort here when it comes to this particular brand. A lot of times when it comes to luxury shoes, unfortunately, you do sacrifice comfort. You sacrifice comfort for the look, for just the brand in general. That is not going to be the case. All of their shoes have always been extremely comfortable. They also happen to run true to size. Make sure to check out all the links down below. I did partner with M. Jemmy for today's video and I'm so excited to share that with you. So let them know that I sent you their way. All of the styles that I'm sharing in today's video will be down below, but I'm also going to link their main page because I want you to check out everything else they have to offer. They really have some great pieces. I know I've been sharing them for years, their loafers specifically, their sandals specifically, and you guys have really loved them. I truly feel like this is one of those brands that is like the epitome of what I try to discuss and talk about here on my channel. I think quality is so important. I think that building a wardrobe, like essential capsule wardrobe is so important. And that also comes to shoes as well. And I think that they're one of those brands that just does it right when it comes to creating that shoe capsule wardrobe. So check out all the links down below. Thank you so much to M. Jemmy for sponsoring this portion of the video, but let's go ahead and move on to some more closet essentials. Next up, let's talk about hats. So this is actually a category that I struggled with for years. I swore up and down I could not wear hats, that they just weren't for me. They didn't work for my head shape, my head size, my face shape. I just was convinced that I was never going to be the cute girl with the fun straw hat in the spring and summer. Like it was just never going to be me. So if that is you, I highly recommend you try one of these. So I personally feel like these two particular styles are gonna be specific for spring and summer, which that's what this video is mainly about. But I do feel like they are very different. I feel like a little Devil Wears Prada moment. You're looking at two natural looking hats with black, you know, lining and thinking, how are they that different? Trust me, they are different. And I feel like they look very, very different on. And I feel like they give a different vibe as well. So let me explain. So first up, we have a shorter brim hat. This is actually one of the very first hats that I added to my wardrobe and I instantly fell in love. This is what convinced me that I could wear hats. This was kind of like the gateway hat for me. Now I have several hats. Now I love wearing hats through the spring and summer, but also the fall and winter. Obviously different textures, different fabrics, but uh, this is a really, really great hat to start with. Super affordable as well. I'll link it down below for you guys. It also comes in a ton of different colors. Okay, here is hat number one on. As you can see, it is pretty close to my head shape. It's not a super wide hat which I feel like sometimes can be intimidating if you are adding a hat to your wardrobe for the very first time. So that's one of the reasons why I think that this is a great hat to start with. I also love the fact that it comes in different colors. I recommend going something that is a little bit more contrasty to the color of your hair. For instance, I also have this hat in a slightly darker natural color and I just feel like this one looks the best for my particular hair color. I feel like this hat definitely gives off kind of Panama vibes. It's not intrusive, it's cute, it's stylish, but it's not too much. It just feels like a way to add a little style element to your wardrobe. Whereas, now I've got hat hair, this one is gonna be a little step up from that. As you can see, the texture is a lot more textury, so you've got that as well. But you've also got, let me see if I can do this without a mirror. I might need a mirror, hold on. This one is definitely on the wider side. It feels a little bit more vacation, poolside, beach, it just gives a little oomph. I'm not saying you can't style this. I'm not saying you can't just wear this with a cute summer dress. It's just a little bit more. So I definitely feel like hat one is gonna be good if you are just kind of introducing hats to your spring and summer wardrobe. And this is gonna be the perfect hat if you know you love hats, you feel confident in hats and comfortable wearing them. This is gonna be a great way to add a lot of texture and that kind of vacation vibe to your wardrobe. 
It is no secret how much I love a denim jacket and I feel like a denim jacket is a must have with your spring and summer wardrobe. I'm not saying that you're gonna necessarily wear this every day, but if you're gonna add a layer to like a fun dress or you're gonna add a layer in the evening, I feel like a denim jacket is the perfect way to do that. This is my all time favorite denim jacket. I actually have it in two different sizes depending on the vibe I want to go for. I have it in a small, this is a small right here and then this is a medium. Um, I just love this denim jacket. If you are looking for that worn in, already like washed, distressed, it, like feel, when, do you know how you get that perfect pair of denim and you pull them on and you're just like, wow, like these just, they fit like a glove. They're so comfortable. They feel like I've had them for years. That is how this denim jacket feels. I feel like, trust me, you are going to fall in love. It is the most perfect denim jacket that I've ever owned. Like I, I have several different denim jackets. It's no surprise. Like if you've been here around for a while, you know how much I love a denim jacket. I have several. I even have a luxury denim jacket, but I will say I reach for this one the most. I feel like a lot of times when you buy a denim jacket, they start out really stiff. It takes a very long time for them to soften. It takes a really long time for just to throw them on it, feel like comfortable. They're usually tight and they take a while, a lot of washes before they get like soft and worn in like this. And this one instantly comes like this. You see, do you see how it just feels like you can even just see the way the denim moves. It is so soft, so comfortable. It is like that perfectly worn, lived in pair of denim pants, but in a jacket version. I also happen to think that the distressing on this is uh, the perfect amount of distressing. It's enough, but not too much, but it's just a classic silhouette as well. So you've got a really, really simple silhouette when it comes to a denim jacket. So add a denim jacket to your wardrobe. If you're looking for a good one, this is my favorite. Next up, let's talk about handbags. So for me personally, in the spring and summer, there are two particular bags that I recommend you add to your wardrobe. These are gonna get you through most situations. Keep in mind, we're talking about day-to-day. -day. We're not talking about special occasion or anything like that. We're talking about day-to-day -day capsule type wardrobe stuff. So I think two silhouettes that I recommend that you have. First up is gonna be a crossbody bag. When it comes to a crossbody bag, I feel like there are two ways that you can go for the spring and summer. I feel like you're going to want to go with a leather. If you go with a leather, that obviously is going to carry you through through the entire year. Like you can wear a leather cross bag throughout the entire year. Or you're going to want to go with something a little bit more season specific with some texture. Straw, raffia, linen, something like that. Either one of those are going to be perfect for your spring and summer wardrobe. I personally recommend either going with a neutral, that's going to get you through more year round, or going with something a little bit lighter. Maybe a white leather bag or a cream leather bag. Something in that category is going to go with absolutely everything. There are two bags in particular that I do want to go ahead and mention. First is going to be the YSL Lulu bag. I really, really love this bag because of the versatility of the handle. Yes, you can wear it crossbody, but because you can double up the strap, it, it does have a little bit more versatility than just a standard crossbody bag because you can double it up like this and wear it with a slightly dressier look. But this color, just like this, is gonna be perfect with a spring and summer wardrobe. It instantly like lightens any outfit, even if it's something that you would wear in the fall and winter, maybe a darker color, uh, you know, just a heavier fabric. But once you add a lighter handbag to an outfit like that, it instantly like dresses it down, makes it a little bit more light and airy for the spring and summer. I also recently added the Hermes Evelyn TPM to my wardrobe. Now this is gonna be a non-adjustable crossbody bag, uh, which I just think is perfect. You don't wanna go big here when it comes to a crossbody bag. You don't want something that's gonna be bulky or just look too oversized with your cute little summer spring dresses. You want something to just carry the essentials. You want something that's going to give a lighter effect, something that isn't going to take up a lot of space, both visually, but also size-wise. This one doesn't take up a lot of space visually or size-wise because it is on the smaller side. And this one, because it's a lighter color, is going to instantly feel like it takes up less space. And the next handbag that I recommend you have in your wardrobe for the spring and summer is going to be a tote. This is where I recommend you play with the summer-specific 
textures or spring and summer specific textures like straw and raffia. I have this one from Chloe that I love. It's a great size. It can be styled, but it's also going to be perfect for vacations, poolside, beach. I really just feel like a tote is a must have. Yes, you need a tote for year round, but I feel like spring and summer is kind of a must have to have a tote. If you think about all the times that you're going to need a lot of extra things, sunscreen, bottled water, maybe a beach towel, like things like that, you're going to want something a little bit more oversized, something you could throw over your shoulder. If you're a mom, you're going to need snacks, all of the things, and the tote is the perfect way to do that. I also have this one from Prada. You see you've got a lot of texture here, which is instantly going to jazz up and summerfy any outfit. If you want something a little bit more oversized, this one from Tory Burch is really nice. It's very simple and classic. Definitely could something you could pull out year after year. And it's massive. This is going to fit all of your essentials and some. If you don't want to go the straw route, this is more of a canvas linen type of texture that's very spring and summer specific. You're going to get that spring and summer vibe. It's a little bit on the smaller side, but it's still large enough to fit all of your essentials. You can definitely carry this to the pool or the beach, but you could also style it as well. So there you have it, the perfect closet and wardrobe essentials for spring and summer. Some that are going to be perfect for year round. Make sure to check out all the links down below for everything that I shared in today's video. Thank you again to M. Jemmy for sponsoring a portion of this video. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Amanda. I do a lot of luxury and fashion videos here on YouTube, but make sure to follow me on Instagram, watch my stories, TikTok, all of the things, because I am hoping to get back to regular content very, very soon. I am so ready for every we're, we're getting that like I feel so much better I shared on stories the other day that I was slowly starting to feel like myself again it's been so long it has been so long since I have felt like myself and even just filming this video is a step in the right direction I love these videos they're so much fun for me so let me know if you have any video recommendations or just want to say hi because it's been a while since we've talked or seen each other so make Make sure to comment down below so I can hear from you and say hi back. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.